Hello loves, it's your girl Jay with JSC Boat and Unlimited. And it's Friday, so I'm having a good day. Um, and I'm standing because, you know, it's that sit-stand life. Anyways, um, I am here with you live. And just letting you know that this is for all of the young and fun millennials in the Bay Area. So today's topic is coming to you because I had an incident with a couple of individuals over the last literally like week. And I had to block some people. So my question to you is, do you ever feel like you just gotta block people out of your life, out of your phone, out of your environment? Because I feel like that. And I am an extreme extrovert, but you got three times to come sideways at me. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> the third time's on me, right? And an incident happened today which is why I'm posting and going live today because I'm just like, really? Like, did you have to say it so harsh? And I think like, I just honestly believe that we give people too much access to us. So I'm like, if you wanna communicate with me because you're unable to communicate like an adult and respectfully through a text message, you can send me an email, right? And if I don't like your emails, I'm gonna block you there too, okay? So I have to block an individual today from my phone because I'm like, hold on. You're coming at me real sideways. And guys, I get that with text messages. It can be misconstrued. Um, bait, like the tone is not there. So you don't know how they're saying this. You're basing it off their personality and the person that they are or, you know, that you know in person when they're talking to you. But even the text message was kind of rude. And I'm like, hold up. Right? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Are you talking to Jay? You know? And so I was like, you know what, God? That's cool, no problem, block, right? Immediately went to my contacts. You wanna contact me? You can contact me through email. And y'all know, <clears throat> I don't really take my emails. So if you really need to get in touch with me because you just went sideways at me, you gonna have, you gonna have some, some time. It's gonna be a little bit tough for you, right? So the last two weeks, I've had to block three people. Um, one being a previous guy that I was talking to, but we're not dating, um, but he might've thought that, but no, we weren't dating. We were just talking and you know, he said some things that to me, I am very strong in my faith. And although it may seem like, you know, sometimes I'm a little crazy, don't we all got a little crazy in us? I still have a heart of gold for God. And he said some things that kind of disrespected me in a sense and didn't respect my religion. And I was like, you know, do this. Like, and you don't, you don't get too many chances to do that. So I had to block him, somebody else I had to block this week. And I was just like, I'm giving y'all too much access to me. Like I enjoy when people reach out to me and I reach out to them and we have conversations, whether it be talking or texting. But do you guys ever think that sometimes you give people too much access to you and then they decide to disrespect you. And I'm just like, hold on, like I don't deserve this. For people that know me, 98% of the time, I'm happy, I'm positive. Like, I got no ill will against anyone. So if something comes off incorrect, it's only because of my directness and honesty, not because I'm upset, not because I think I'm better than you or anything like that. And all these conversations, I did not start. However the text ended, I did not start that that way. So all I'm saying is, stop giving people complete access to you. Um, I had to do that. I'm like, I'm at the point in my life where I'm like, if you're not positive, I don't want you in my life. If you um, are against my religion, I, I don't care what kind of religion you are. As long as you have some belief system, believe in something, the universe, the grass, I don't care. As long as you have some type of belief system, but I just need you to respect mine and I'm going to respect yours. So that's another way to get the shopping block. Um, if we were previously talking, dating or whatever, and it didn't really end on a good note, um, I typically have to chop. Um, or if I feel like you're gonna be stalking me, I have to chop. Because I've, I've been there so many times and my Cali sisters know, like I've been in the position and I'm just like, why are you stalking me? Like, we've agreed that we've moved on. I don't need you stalking me. So like certain stuff, guys, I got stories for days about how this person located me, found me on social media, all the social medias, like, Guys, like, it, this is crazy. Anyways, I just want to encourage you to, you know, protect yourself. Like, you don't have to take stuff from nobody. Like, really. Like, it, you don't have to take it. So, block them out of your life and keep it moving. Like, this is not business. This is personal. I'm blocking you and I'm going to move on with my life. Deuces.